Sad and young, it's your boy Rico bring y'all a very random Redskins report. Didn't expect to wake up to see news like this. Reuben Foster has made very significant progress in his recovery. He has officially regained feeling in his foot months after injury. And mind you, he's going through the same thing Jalen Smith, the linebacker for the Cowboys, went through. And look how well he's performing for the Cowboys the past couple of years. Remember, Reuben Foster tore his ACL, LCL, and MCL in the first practice Washington had in May. His agent, Malachi Kawa, also said that he sustained nerve damage from that. You what? He said that Foster couldn't feel his toes for several months. And luckily for him and us as Redskins Nation, that has finally come to an end. His agent, Kawa, said that he's got filling in his toes, the underside of his foot, and the side of his foot. The nerve is starting to fire again. And his agent is hoping that Foster can participate in training camp in some way, shape, or fashion, but he should be good to go for the 2020 season at some point. There's no exact timetable for his return, but anything is possible at this point now that he has finally regained feeling in his foot. And they were so excited about it that they even called the team to show them. He said that the Redskins coaching staff and front office was very happy to hear the news and the fact that there was significant progress this week. And just some random information. To get to where he is now, Foster has used the Bio Accelerator, which works to regenerate various body parts using stem cells and cellular therapies. Also, Foster has used treatments including the hyperbolic time chamber, I mean the hyper Barrett time chamber but it's crazy though he has officially regained feeling and power in his foot Kawa said that when he moves his leg upward he can feel around the ankle in the top part of the foot and that's a new thing the next 60 days are going to be big as far as getting back to normal and if you don't remember Reuben Foster is that dude at linebacker he was released by the 49ers because of a lot of domestic issue allegations and all kinds of drama that was going on. We picked him up, and since he's been with us, he's been hurt. We haven't even been able to unleash our secret weapon yet. Also, as far as Bryce Love, he suffered an ACL injury December 2018, the last game of his college season. It was crazy. So he basically redshirted in the NFL. They just sat him down. His injury isn't very, very bad. It's not as bad as Reuben Foster's where we, he was just hoping to regain feeling and power in his, in his leg and foot. Bryce Love may not be Adrian Peterson, but considering how long it takes to recover from an ACL injury, he looks like he will be a full go as of training camp also and maybe even before that. He took an entire year off. He may not have even needed the entire year, but the Redskins were like, there's no point in you coming back this year. There's just no point in risking it. You might end up being our running back one. You might end up being the running back of the future. We want you to come back fully healthy. We'll man the ship until you get back. But just remember who Bryce Love is. In 2017, he rushed for 2,118 yards and 19 touchdowns. He had an even better season than Christian McCaffrey did for Stanford. And he was the Heisman Trophy runner-up. So man, if they both come back fully healthy, that fills a lot of needs. Because Darius Geis is so far not trustworthy injury-wise. And our linebacker group has pieces, has solid to good pieces, but Reuben Foster would be the Pro Bowl piece that we really need to elevate the defense. And then in the 4-3, deciding whether Reuben Foster would play Will or Mike linebacker is a very interesting topic because Josh Harvey Clemens could play Will if he finds a way to step up to a starting role. But at the mic, you have Sean Deon Hamilton, who's the IQ of the defense. He's the on-field coach, the smartest guy on the field. But then you also have Cole Holcomb, who had a breakout rookie season, who should probably play the mic. And then you have Ryan Anderson, who should play the Sam, who just the last six games of this past season, he started showing out. He looked like a completely different football player. He was coming off the edge making plays. He was making plays in coverage. He looked like the starting Sam for this team. But we'll see how this goes, though. I'm just excited to finally get an update about Reuben Foster. Thank goodness. But that's it for this video. It's your boy Rico from Street Scores. Please like the video if you liked it. If you learned anything, please subscribe. Again, I'm coming with endless Redskins content, draft talk, anything major in the NFL. I got y'all. And I'll catch y'all later. I'm out.